I am Jerry Gaetti, and I am the CEO and founder of Vintage Vixen Cosmetics. Darlings, if you're in your 40s, your 50s, 60s, or finer, we are the cosmetic company for you. We're here to help boost that collagen production, maintain that moisture, and help you look glam while doing so, okay? So we're going to be spotlighting this little lady here, packed full of beautiful 15 colors. We're gonna dive into her as well, and we're gonna go over this little eye that I have created today with these beautiful color palettes. Now, of course, all of our colors are inspired by Hollywood Awards. We're looking at our Critics' Choice right here, beautiful pink Emmy. We're having that gorgeous blockbuster here next to the Tony. We're gonna be diving into that today. And then, of course, our silver screen. Right here we have the Obi. We're gonna be talking about that and bringing it in, showing you a different color combination. And we're gonna be looking at that Palme Dior, beautiful yellow color. Of course, smack dead in the center is our gorgeous Oscar. This is our gold glitter. And of course, we have that beautiful aquamarine color. This is the box office. We're going to be mixing some colors with this golden globe today. And of course, I want you to take a look at our green room right here which is another glitter popping, and the only duo chrome in this wonderful palette is the beautiful Sundance. Of course, right here in the center is the Grammy, darling. She is a beautiful champagne gold, followed by the after party, that rust red, and the black limo. And so let's get it started. You all know if you're new to us, we have to sanitize, sanitize, because Vixen is big on sanitizing. We're gonna sanitize my hands, and of course, get into this look so I can go ahead and show you what we did. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but do you see that color there? This color is a nice khaki green. Well, if you have a little black purse palette, you know we don't have an actual khaki green, but we're going to be showing you how you can achieve that look yourself today. So let's get it started. And I am going to be diving into first this beautiful, Obi of ours. Let's get me a nice little flat brush. I like to have a little flat brush that's gonna give me a little bit of definition in the, in the corners of my eyes, this is in the creases of my eye. So I'm gonna be diving into this. This is our Obi color, just a little bit. Again, our colors are very pigmented. A little goes a long way. Let's go ahead and swatch this Obi. We're using this Obi color, beautiful blue. Look how pigmented that is. Just a little bit, and look how much is on my brush. A little bit is gonna go a long way, okay? So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna come in just the corner of my eye. Now, if you like to do the center of your eye first, go ahead and do what is best for you. But I tend to like to have the little outer corner of my eye, and then when I use the blending brush, I can blend from light to dark, and has a gradual gradation going so that the colors are not muddy. So let's go ahead and apply that right here. That is going to be our base that we're going to be using to create that beautiful khaki green color over there, okay? Again, the little black purse palette is created with a lot of colors, basic colors that you can use to create a myriad of colors, little nice kaleidoscopic rainbow for you so that you can choose all of these colors and mix and match. So we're just applying it right here on the outer corners and then I'm gonna be blending that. So if you can see, let's see if I can come in a little closer using just the camera on my phone. It's a little difficult because you can't see the way you can see in the mirror. You can see all of the area that you're trying to cover, okay? So this is what I'm doing with that, just creating a nice little arch, not bringing it all the way up under the brow bone, just mostly in the creases here. And this is the OB. Now again, see how dark that OB is? See how light I was able to apply this OB? Putting it on, brushing it in. So I'm gonna take another brush, and I'm gonna take this brush. This is a nice little round brush. We're gonna tap into 
the golden globe okay the golden globe is our beautiful what i call aztec gold very rich very yellow type of gold and i'm going to go ahead and swatch the beautiful golden globe right next door do you see that right next to the beautiful obi okay that obi dark blue this gorgeous color we're going to create that beautiful iridescent khaki green so I'm going to tap into that just a little bit. I'm going to tap into this. Make sure that I tap off any excess. And then we're going to blend. I'm going to place it right here and blend into my areas. Do you see that? Looks a little muddy right now. That's okay. We're gonna blend that out. So this right here is gonna give us that gorgeous khaki green color. And as you can see, you see it taking shape right here. Just blending it out some more. And then I'm gonna take and go back in with the brush that I had earlier with the blue, just make sure that it gives me more of a green color and not more of a yellow color. And we're blending. Again, our Little Black Purse palette is formulated and infused with palm oil to help hydrate mature skin that has crepe skin or fine lines or wrinkling and this is really good because the eye area doesn't have oil glands and you need to make sure that it's moisturized but you have a great color payoff and this is our gorgeous khaki green color you see that khaki green color just those two colors and then i'm going to come in and just refine with a slant brush, which is a beautiful brush here. It is a blending brush. With our blending brush, I'm just gonna go from light to dark, just across here. Now you'll notice we did not do the center of the eyelid yet. Just want to make sure I have these creases in here and then I am going to go in again right here where the eyeball gives me a nice little round crescent shape. I'm going to go right in with that flat brush again. I'm going to be tapping into, again, our beautiful Obi. Just tapping just a little bit because that's all I need because I'm going to create a little crease line. And I'm going to be dabbing it in. This is how you can get a nice subtle crease without having a, a defined cut crease. Now, if you like a defined cut crease, you can go ahead and do so with a sweeping motion. But I tend to like to dab it in and then blend. It gives me just enough depth to my eyes so that when I blend upward, I have a nice gradation, nice smooth color transition. This is the Obi, and of course, it is our beautiful dark blue color here. And I like to take a look at my eyes from all angles. And then get right back into this slanted brush and blend. Now the blending brush, I like it because again, of course, you see, it's a nice gradation, nice transition. And we have taken this gorgeous blue of the Obi and created our own khaki green. Let's do that right now. This being our beautiful Obi with our golden globe, creating this gorgeous khaki green color that you see right here. You see that? And it has a nice little iridescent to it, so it's not a it's not a flat khaki color. Nice pearly iridescent color catches the light, and that's the color that we're wearing. 
just those two colors gorgeous I think the green is really great because you know it pops the yellow and I'm wearing a nice gold dress today so I figured I'm gonna put a little bit of green in there but I'm not gonna use the green or the turquoise blue green color of the box office which is this color you know I decided I'm not gonna use that color it is a nice beautiful summer color but I wanted something a little bit more rich to go with this gold color that I'm wearing today and of course to bring out the green jewelry that I decided to accessorize with so now we're gonna go into the Tony and if you notice the Tony is this beautiful champagne color right here this is the Tony champagne peach color let's go ahead and swatch the Tony right there you see that nice kind of peachy color get a good swipe so you can see the Tony. See, it has like a little iridescence, kind of white color as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my makeup wipes so that I don't muddy any of the colors again, because I do think I might have muddied the color a little bit on my fingers with that with that Obi. Give you a good color, a better swatch of the Tony. There we are. So I'm going to take the Tony and I'm going to use a brush. And in between you can clean your brushes with the makeup wipe because it will help with your transition if you don't have a lot of brushes. But I'm going to be using this nice little fluffy brush. It's a nice little fluffy brush. I'm going to be using that and I'm going to pick up some of this Tony. I'll be using the Tony there. Can I get some of that? See how much we're picking up? Just enough. So that I can have a nice sweep, okay? So I'm gonna sweep the Tony over the inner eyelid right now. Let's see here. And I'm placing it just right here, right above the eyelid, just before the crease of the eye, and right in the inner corner above the tear duct area to define the eye, so that we can get a nice, even color. Now, do you see that this color, even though it's light, can actually go over the green that we created? This is how pigmented even our light colors are. That you can go over the eye as well and go over all the colors so that you can blend. This is blending the Tony. You see that? The Tony blending it in. And we've only used two colors so far. And then let's take again, brush off our nice blending brush and of course you see the blending brush it looks like that but it doesn't really have any colors on it this is a natural type of bristle so it does have like a little color on the end but that's the color of the brush okay so then make sure all of the blue or the green colors are off are you going to start from the light color and then gradually blend it into your darker color so that you can see that. Now something I didn't do prior to putting on my Obi is I didn't give you my transition color that you see right here. Now it's okay because if you forget to apply your transition color prior to applying your colors, you can go in and take a look at this. You can actually put the transition color in after the fact. So we're gonna do that right now. And I'm going to take this wider flat brush. See that? It's a little wider than this one. I'm going to take that wider flat brush. And I'm going to dip into this gorgeous color called the After Party. See that After Party? Beautiful red color, brick red color. Look at that. You don't need to have a lot 
and you can still see the color payoff from here. I'm going to take a little bit of that after party and I'm just going to dab it in there so that I can come in, just tap here and tap there on my after party. Okay. Now keep in mind again, it is a lot of red. Well, I'm going to use a little bit of this red as my transition color, whereas you can actually use browns or any type of darker color to give you a nice transition so that it is not a flat color and so that it's not just sitting there. So I'm gonna come right above where I creased, right here, and I am going to apply my transition color. Now take a look at that. Do you see that? Just a little bit. It's giving me a nice transition color before I get to my brow bone. And therefore you can see it was here and now we are evening it out. And that's only if you forget to do it prior to, I have, and I did it, and I put it back. So you can do it as well. So darlings, we're gonna come in here. This is our transition color. And all we did was take some of the after party transitioned it across the crease so that now we have just the green and then a little fading away into the background of the eye area. Nice natural look, okay? Now we're gonna get into something that I am excited about. And that is, of course, putting our adhesive onto our lash so that we can finish our eye area. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a lengthening mascara, it's actually conditioning as well. Has nice protein. You can choose whatever mascara you'd like, but I tend to like those that have a little bit of faux fibers so it can lengthen my lashes as well. And once I wear my faux lashes, they blend in. So I'm applying my mascara right now so that I can apply my eyeliner. Again, I am using the Ava today, and the Ava is going to be in our retro collection. And of course, you see I've already used my particular Ava on this eye, so I'm gonna just be using this Ava. But of course, again, the Ava is 15 millimeters. She is our daily wear lash. I'm gonna be applying the Ava today, and I'm going to be applying her with, again, our lash and hold here. This is our lash applicator, our gold lash applicator, and of course our new Glam Hold Lash Glue here. Water base, very good for sensitive skin. I love that it doesn't have a lot of chemicals. Of course, again, it's vegan friendly. Again, we reformulated the lash adhesive so that it can be more user friendly for those who have sensitive eyes. It again is phthalate free formaldehyde-free, latex-free, of course, it is cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan-friendly, sulfur-free. I'm just loving it. It's just free, though. It's just, just nice water and acrylic polymer, and I love that. So I'm going to be applying a little bit of this, put it here, onto my lash as well, just a nice, and I like to do a little dab on the ends of my lashes because your eye water sometimes, and of course you know what's in the tear, is saline. And so sometimes the saline would tend to loosen up the lashes before they, you know, they're able to sit there and become tacky. So I like to apply mine and then leave it on top of the bed of my lash so that it can become tacky. Now while it's becoming tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little black purse palette as my eyeliner, okay? Now, if you notice, I have a white there. I like to have a white or a nude or a beige eyeliner right in the waterline because it opens up the eye. If you can see how well this eye looks versus this eye, you can see that this eye is a little more closed in because I do have small eyes. But I tend to like to use the Critics' Choice and I'm going to use that underneath my, my eyes here it's this Critics' Choice. Let's bring that in. And a nice, fine brush like this. 
very, very fine. You can barely see it. It's like a hair's breadth right there. I'm gonna be using that so that I can apply the Critics' Choice. So let me bring that in. Take this Critics' Choice. Okay. And I am bringing out this water. This is what I'm doing. Pour, pouring a little bit of water right in here. This right here is just a cup of water. And I like to wet the brush so that the bristles are not fanning out and irritating the eyes. And having that little bit of cup of water there, I'm gonna be diving into this Critics' Choice, which is a matte white. Let's go ahead and take this matte white here. And you can see the matte white right there. We're gonna be using that to line the waterline of the eye. If you tend to blink a lot, you may want to use a pencil. But again, we're displaying and showing you how versatile the Little Black Purse palette can be. And when you're traveling, you only need to use the eyeshadow palette for your eyeliner, your blush, your highlighter. You can also use it for your eyeliner. Here we are. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there so that we can have that same bold white line there. Of course, keep in mind any type of questions you have about our products, don't forget, put them in the comments below or you can actually just DM us. If you wanna DM us and you don't wanna have anyone know what you want to say, we also have our info at Vintage Vixen Cosmetics email. Shoot us an email. And we'll find out and we'll answer it for you, okay? Because, of course, when you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and finer, sometimes you don't have any answers about your cosmetics or applications or what's in them or what can be harmful. And, of course, we do have a lot of influencers, but, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of influencers in our age demographic, darlings. And, of course, they're out there, but they're very few and far in between. It's very hard to find them. So, of course, when you're in that age range and becoming finer, it can become a little perplexing to find someone that has the answers for your changing skincare needs. So, let's go ahead and take our lash. I think I'm going to go ahead and apply the lash. And we're going to have to put this lash on. Now, I tend to like to use a mirror that's a little closer to the eye area because, of course, I do have peepers. I need my glasses to read. So you can't really use your reading glasses to apply your lashes. And, of course, the Little Black Purse palette is great for that. But I'm going to be bringing in my friend, this nice magnified mirror for me to apply my lash. So let's go ahead and apply the Ava, the Ava lash. Apply her right there. And then of course, let's take that there and apply her center wise. The thing I like about this is when you're using the lash applicator, it's nice and rounded so you don't poke yourself in the eye. So I'm gonna apply her right here. There we are. And just move it to the corner of my eye. Little roundness. I'm trying to do it so you all can see me, but also be in my mirror so I can see me too. There we are. And I'm going to move it slightly in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and take my lash. I like to take the end, the blunt end, and I like to press down just above it because I am applying the lash to the lash line, not the actual hairs. You want to make sure that you're applying it to the lash line and not the hairs. 
applying it to the hairs will cause the hairs to become weak and thin and of course when you remove your lashes you can be pulling out your own natural lashes and as you're entering menopause you're going to be having the loss of hair and of course brittleness of hair dryness of skin yes darlings all those things that happen with the big m but we don't want to exacerbate the situation we want to make sure that we keep what we have and of course i like to keep my lashes so i'm just moving this a little further over so that it is not actually on a hair okay yes because this is sitting on a hair I don't like it sitting on a hair. There we are. And just move it over, okay? Now, what we can do is take our liner as well. This is a black liner that I like to use. And I like to come right in the center, right there, so that it can blend those two lines together since I'm not touching the hairs. And then I can go right on the top. Now you can apply your eyeliner prior to putting on your lash. But since I like to go over my lash line to make sure that there is no line of demarcation there, I tend to like to put mine on last, okay? So now we have the Ava, which is our beautiful 15 miller retro lash daily wear. And I'm wearing the Ava of course, because she's inspired by none other than Ava Gardner, and she's just gorgeous to me. So we're going to go ahead and put this eye and make sure that we have what's called some nice symmetry, okay? So we don't have an eyeliner on this eye. Let's go ahead and correct that. I'm going to take this nice pencil, again, very pointy but kind of firm. And I'm going to be dipping into a little bit of my poured water because I want the brush to be wet for this one, okay? I want it to be wet because it'll pick up the powder of the lash, of the eyeshadow, and not allow your lashes to have powder flying all over and irritate the eyes. I'm going to be dipping it in to this OB because I'm going to line my eyes with this OB. So I'm going to start right here, in the outer, and work my way in. And you can actually start in the center if it works best for you to work your way out. I'm a lefty, so sometimes I might do something a little more backwards than what you would do but it works for me so i'm going to be applying that here just dabbing it there and if you'll notice this is more of a blue and this is more of a green but that's because we're going to go ahead and mix that color in there so let's go ahead and cleanse our brush with our makeup wipe in doing so I like to use a rose water. I'm using a rose water makeup wipe, of course, a particular brand, just any brand. And I like to use that because it's gentle on the skin. It's gentle on my brushes as well. Just clean in between, making sure that I get all of the color off my brush before I dip into another color. See how easy that is. So now I'm going to take my brush and dip it again into this beautiful, color right here which is the golden glow so I'm picking up that because we're gonna mix the color with the OB underneath the eyes just like we did when we created it on the top of the lid and now we're just going to mix it right here underneath with this brush and create our own khaki green See the color forming? Again, these are eyeliners that are created from our eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna put some more here, making sure that it's not too yellowy. If it does look a little 
to yellow, you can go ahead and apply more of the blue. I think we're getting it there. Again, if your eyes are sensitive and you tend to water up, you may want to create it here on your arm and dip your brush into some water and pick it up. Or if you have a makeup palette, makeup palettes are really great to have because you can color, create all the colors you want and then dive into the makeup that you want to apply. So now we have a khaki green. I'm going to put a little bit more here under each eye. I'm going to put a little bit more of this blue in the corner there. See, it's a little bit more yellow there than I want. So tone that down some with a little bit of the OB. There we are. Now let me see it from far and close. Very far and close, I would say Add it more because this eye actually started to water. And then of course, I'm going to take my powder brush and dust there just in case. See a little bit more of my color pigment there. And I'm just gonna dab right here. So now we're going to actually put on our blush. You notice we don't have any blush or highlighter over here. We're gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna put some more here. So let's go ahead and get our brush, our blush brush. Nice fluffy brush. We're gonna dab into just a little swipe right there. And that is our after party. We're just gonna dab a little bit in there and then we're gonna highlight our cheeks by smiling so we can find it. Notice that I am here from the nostril out to the outer corner of the eye, making sure that the center part of my eye, the blush stops short of there on the outer side, okay? So that's how you can get your rosy cheeks. And I'm applying the blush so that we can have some symmetry. So the after party is being used as a blush today. And then I'm gonna go into this color again. Oh, beautiful Grammy. I'm gonna just swipe the brush down into the Grammy, just like so. Just get a little bit on there because we're only highlighting now. So I'm gonna be highlighting my cheeks. See that? Let's turn the light down a little bit. So you can see the color that I applied right there. Nice gold color right across here. Nice highlighter. And then I'm also going to do that in the center of my forehead and also my chin. These are spaces that the light hits so that you can have a nice dimension, nice glow in your photos. I am applying it right here to my nose as well and in the center. Sometimes you can apply it to the bow of the lip as well. I have the vermilion look very nice and glowy. And so of course, now we have our look. I am going to seal it before I apply my, my lipstick because of course you know the lipstick that I'm going to be using today is going to be our lovely lady that debuted which is the Dietrich. She is our beautiful rust brown color. And I'm going to be using the, let's see, Sacy Bone Brown Lip Liner with her. I think she looks really great with the Sacy Bone Lip Liner. But first, let me go ahead and seal this makeup look. Now you all know I don't endorse a lot of cosmetic brands and other brands because of course I am not their brand ambassador, I am my brand ambassador, but at the same time, I like to talk about a product that helps us all. Now of course I have personal summers and you never know when a heart flash is gonna happen, darlings, because that's what I call mine, my personal summers, because it appears that I'm always the only one that's hot in the room when it happens. But I have found 
that this beautiful all-nighter from Urban Decay, I love it. I love it because it helps when I have those little flare-ups and start perspiring and it sets my makeup. So darlings, again, I don't endorse a lot of products, but this product here for women over the age of 40 who have started their menopause, this beauty right here, this all-nighter is exactly what it says. It's all night, you know, so I like that. And I sealed my makeup and allow that to just set. So now with that in place, we're gonna go ahead and look at this beautiful lady. And this, of course, is the Dietrich. I'm gonna wear the Dietrich today because she's gonna bring out a little bit of this rust color for me and deepen up some of this beautiful gold that I'm wearing and then just kind of highlight. She is great to have other colors pop around her. And of course, I definitely call her sultry and vampy at the same time. And I'm gonna bring her out along with this beautiful Sacy Bone. Sacy Bone is our new lip liner and it is a brown lip liner. This is Sacy Bone. Let's see if I can find a little space here. Put the Sacy Bone there for you. Get a little space here. So I'm running out of space on my arm. I'm gonna put a little space there. The Sacy Bone. I'm gonna apply the Sacy Bone as my lip liner before applying our beautiful Dietrich, okay? So turn it up some here. And this is the Sacy Bone. Let's see here. There we are. Back to myself. It's like I didn't see. It got a little darker. And then I'm going to apply it here, the top, just creating a nice vermilion. Our lipsticks don't bleed across your lips, but it's nice to have a lip liner if you want to just have a natural look. Come down a little bit more. My Sacy Bone Brown lip liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and you know I like to use a brush and a spatula. Now with the Sacy Bone lip liner, you can purchase that as well, or you can purchase all six of our new colors together in a set. The Sacy Bone lip liner is retractable, and of course it contains shea butter and jojoba oil, and you can purchase that right there at our virtual studio, VintageVixenCosmetics.com, along with all of our other colors. You can actually purchase the whole set together, separately it's up to you darlings but I tell you owning the whole set ensures that you have all the colors that you would need to accentuate the beautiful classic colors of the Vixen collection so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this beautiful color of the Dietrich I'm gonna take it and put it on the spatula and I use the spatula and the lipstick brush but of course when you have your own tube you can apply it directly from the tube to the lips I find that as the lips become a little finer with age that you're gonna have more lines than you're used to and sometimes the lipstick using it right out as the of the lipstick bullet is going to skip a little bit okay so I like to use the brush to ensure that I get into all the creases and of my lips. So let's go ahead and apply this beautiful color of the Dietrich. And she is inspired by none other than Marlene Dietrich, who was a trailblazer herself. And of course, darling, she is just she has had so many compliments. And we're so happy that you all just welcomed her with open arms. We're gonna go ahead and 
just apply her to the top of my lip, right where I applied Ceci Bone. And I think today I'm gonna give her a little more oomph, okay? Let's apply her right here. Now, one of the things that I like to suggest is when you're applying our lipsticks, allow them to sit on the lips so that they can absorb. You know, your lips can absorb all the beautiful avocado oil and the shea butter and the coconut oil and the vitamin E and the castor oil. Very nice, rich and creamy. Allow it to sit and penetrate so that it can condition the lips. And that way what you're left with is just a nice pigment on the lips itself. And then you can minimize having your lipstick near your teeth, see? So right now, I have a little right here. I'm gonna just dab right there. And that way, you can smile and not have your lipsticks on your teeth. So this is our gorgeous Dietrich. She, of course, is inspired by none other than Marlene Dietrich. Marlene Dietrich is just a wonderful actress. She also was involved with activism. Here at Vintage Vixen Cosmetics, all of our lipsticks are inspired and named after Hollywood stars. Not only were they famous, but these stars had a wonderful biography, lived colorful lives, and they were involved with really nice causes that helped us all, okay, darlings, especially women. So definitely take a look at them, look at their backstory, and of course we'll try to give you a little bit of knowledge again as we go forward with each lady. But stay tuned to our website so that you can see our iconic inspirations and find out why and how we come up with these lipstick colors and these lipstick lines, okay? So again, like I said, I wanted to give a little bit of oomph and I think I'm going to. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna dab into, since we use that golden globe, I'm gonna dab into that golden globe. I'm just gonna tap her right here. Just a little tap. And then I'm gonna take that and move that tap right here. Just in the center of the lips. Just where you would be kissing. This is beautiful. And this gives her a little oomph. It also gives you a little bit more of a little depth to it, a little 3D effect here. And all I did was take the Golden Globe and press her into the lips so that we have this nice color right here. Now, one thing we didn't do before we go is we didn't put any brows. A highlighter and we also didn't apply my tear duct. So I'm gonna dab into this color right here again, our Critics' Choice. I'm gonna take our Critics' Choice and I'm just gonna come up and highlight under my brow bone right there. Just a little bit of highlight and then blend. It. So that it's a little bit more pronounced, a little bit more color there blending it in and then I'm going to take this same brush and I'm going to clean it before I move to the next color and I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dab into the Grammy and take that Grammy make sure that I put the Grammy right here in the tear duct area of my eyes Gives it a little bit of drama and a little bit of light action. See how it brings more light to the eyes. And to make sure that it's a little bit lighter and not more gold, I just dab a little bit of this color right here. 
uh, Critics Choice. And then we're going to go on the top of that. It gives it a nice pearl color without making it flat like the white of the Critics Choice, without making it too champagne gold like the Grammy. And so there you have it, a full face done with the Little Black Purse palette all the colors that you need to create new colors like this beautiful khaki green color that we created today to offset our beautiful colors in this gold dress and of course let's go ahead and swatch this wonderful lady as well being the beautiful Dietrich we used her along with our Sacy Bone lip liner now what I like about our colors are the colors stay all day I love it. The lipstick is eight to 10 hours of wear. And of course, darlings, these colors, they're gorgeous. They're hyper pigmented. You see what I'm saying? Just really, really out there. But this is my favorite part of our beautiful Little Black Purse palette. The thing I like about this is let's pull one of these makeup wipes out. Because I'm gonna show you that even though these colors can last all day, they're easy cleanup. Wonderful and swipe. Nice, easy cleanup. Doesn't have to have a lot of scrubbing. Just your natural makeup wipe. And of course, you can use any of your makeup removers. You can also use a, a very nice, delicate soap and water. But look how easy that comes up, which means that it can actually take away from the eye area without having a lot of scrubbing or pulling or tugging on the delicate areas. And their, their skin will be nice and clean. So thank you for joining us again. And until next time, you know what I say. Smooches, darlings. <laughs>